Hello, welcome back. Okay, in this video we're now going to install our theme um, that we are, can then integrate with Facebook. So here we are on our website that we've just created and um, below this video you are going to see a link that looks like this. Ignore the rest of this page, this is an older page that we have at the moment, but directly underneath this video you are going to see this link. Click here to download the WordPress theme. So if you could click on that link and it will bring you up this little box saying that you've chosen to um, save this file. It's a zip file. OK, so I want to save the file to my desktop. That's all I want to do. I don't want to open it. I don't want to look inside. I just want to save the zip file. So I'm going to click OK and then that file is going to be saved on my computer. Now I'm obviously using a Mac, you may be using a PC, either way you just need to make sure that that zip file there is somewhere that you can go and grab it. So I'm going to move it onto my desktop. Okay, that's where I want that file. There it is, there it is. that's now on my desktop. Okay, and I know it's there. So whether you're in a Mac or a PC, just grab this zip file as it is in a zip and put it somewhere you can find it. Please note you do not need to unzip it at all. Okay? All right, so we go back to our WordPress blog and what we want to do is we want to get into the back end of this. We want to get into the dashboard. So down here you've got your little login. So if we just click on that, click on login, and that will take us to our login area. Now, if you remember, I set up my username and password for this as simply admin and admin and said so I'd go back and change it at a later date. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going into the back end of WordPress right now, into the back of our website that we've created using the WordPress platform. And here we are. Here we are in the dashboard of our WordPress site. So what we now need to do is install the theme. OK, so I want you to come over here to the left and click on appearance. OK, we'll click on appearance and open that up. And here we're already automatically by default inside the themes section. OK, so here you'll see manage themes and then install themes. So if you click on install themes, uh, and that will take us to, has that worked? Here we go. Sorry, I didn't click on it hard enough. That will take us to this page, okay? And in here, we're going to click on this little upload button here. Can you see that? Upload. All right, so just click upload. And that's going to ask us for a theme that we've got in a .zip format. So I'm going to click browse. And here's my SNA simple .zip file that I want to upload. And then I click open. That's going to put that in there. And then I simply click install now. Install now. OK. So that's basically installed that. It's unpacking the package, installing the theme, theme installed successfully. OK. Now you can preview it. Um, and if I show you the preview, all you're going to see is, is the white page and what we're going to see when we activate it. So, for instance, let me show you what it looks like. So when we preview it, there it is. OK, that's what you see, because that's just all the details that are on there at the moment. Don't worry about that. OK, it looks a bit ugly, but don't worry about that, because we are going to completely and utterly customize <coughs> and change your theme. So it looks really good for Facebook. So all I want you to do is click activate here. OK, that's what I, that's what we need to press. Simply click activate. And now our SNA iframe simple 1.1 is activated as our theme. OK, so if I go back to www .create a website on facebook.com, then that's what comes up. OK, as I said, fear not that it looks ugly. It's not a problem because what we are now going to do in the next video is we are actually going to create our page that we're going to integrate with Facebook. OK, so um, go and install this theme if you haven't already been watching this video, get it all ready to go. And as I said, in the next page, we're now going to create our page. So I will see you in the next video.